So, there's another quick video about a couple of beat parameter improvements that's been made to the latest version of Virtual Studio 2021, which is built 66.13 at the time of this recording. So, what are those? Well, uh, they're actually on auto crossfade and on backspin and also on video transition, which I'm not going to show, but I'm going to show the first two. So, it used to be that when you use auto crossfade, you could only put in milliseconds to tell how long the auto crossfade should be. And you may be able to find a good value there, but you'll never be able to be in time because different tracks have different BPMs. So even though it worked for one BPM with milliseconds, it wouldn't work for another BPM. But now you can put in beats, so now you can actually do your auto cross fading in time. So let me give you an example here. So I start a track. And I start another track. Make sure it's in time. And as you could tell, it was cross-faded in exactly four beats. Do it again, by the way. Like that. So that's pretty cool with something like four beats, but it's also kind of interesting to make it smaller, shorter. So if I put in one beat, for instance, I can do stuff like this. We kind of start the tracks the same way, basically. Like that. So that's pretty cool, and you can even do it even faster uh, by putting it below one, so maybe 0 0.5, so half a beat. And you can do stuff like this. And even faster. So that's, let's do some pretty crazy auto crossfade mixing. So pretty cool. And it's kind of the same with backspin. Used to be that you can only do milliseconds, but now you can do beats. So I put in four beats here. So when I hit the backspin, it'll last it'll four beats. So something like this. Of course, backspin it's not in time because, well, it destroys the time because it goes down in tempo, right? So such a long backspin in, in beats might not really matter. Um, but if you make it shorter, like maybe one beat, you can do it to maybe get out of a mix. So that gives you other options. So let me try to see if I can show that. So I start a try again. And I start the other track. Make sure it's in time. And I start beat mixing. So I got out of the uh, the mix exactly in time using this backspin. So it's the same if I do it the other way. Like that. So that gives you a great way to use the backspin to get out of a mix, because that's probably what you would do if you had a physical controller in front of you. You would throw it back to do the backspin, and then on the one, you would pause it by by uh, cutting out the, uh, uh, the the level or the, um, the the fader, or maybe even stop it by stopping the, the actual spinning disc. But now you can just put it on the actual backspin action. So that's just a couple of ways you could use these new uh, beat parameters. Of course, that's that tons more.